losing my mind. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Okay, here we go. Hi guys, how are you? What's up? It's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. It's good to see you. Last time I called it my quarantine corner and that's what we're doing. This is my quarantine corner. Welcome to my messy bedroom. I don't care at all what you think of my bedroom where I do makeup and post videos like every Friday, except I didn't last week. I have had um, a pretty awful last couple days, not to sugarcoat it. I've gotten hit pretty hard financially with this whole crisis, um, which is a massive bummer. I spent most of the day yesterday wallowing. <laughs> Today I was like, I'm gonna do makeup and feel better about myself. <laughs> So I did like my favorite color of all time to use for makeup, which is pinks and reds. Um, this definitely turned out more pink than I was anticipating. I thought it might be a little more red, but I did crack my knuckles. And I got some new products to play with. So more monochromatic <laughs> looks for you of color. Um, I dig monochromatic looks. I like them. I think they're fun. And I also don't really care. Like I, this is my makeup quarantine corner. If you don't like it, just don't say anything. So if you want to play along and uh, explore this pink fun with me and have some fun and some laughs, please keep watching. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you like me, please make sure you subscribe um, and hit that notification bell so that you see when I post new videos. If you haven't already, you should seriously check out my other videos, my other content. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. And oh, look, my inhalers. Don't you like looking at my inhalers? I just now realized that those are gonna be in every shot. Cool, <laughs> okay. So I got new fun things to play with. My Ulta box came, wow. I mostly got a lot of nail stuff, but I also got um, a new like rose, like a roller. And I got some new like oil from Fourth Ray. And I got colored eyeliners, which I'm very excited about. First and foremost, I wanna try this roller and stuff. Woohoo! It's different colors. Wow, oh, Radiate. Haha, <laughs> not Ray, <laughs> I'm an idiot, Radiate. I knew that. Why was it so confusing on the packaging? because it's two words on the packaging and it's one word on here, done. This is specially designed serum that is powerfully formulated to enhance skin uh, radiance for a brighter and more luminous complexion. So it says to shake well before use, apply three to five drops into palms, warm between hands and then press into clean skin. Okay, so then this is just the Ulta Beauty Rose Quartz Roller. Um, I almost bought like a really expensive one and then I was like, why would I do that? That seems dumb. It already feels nice. <gasps> Ooh, and there's like the little end for under your eyes. Cool, oh my God, it already feels so good. It's so cold. <gasps> feels so relaxing. Okay, I see why they want two, three, four, five. <gasps> Ooh, it smells like oranges. It feels very cooling and it feels really good. I clipped my bangs to the side because they were in my way. The first thing I've got here is the Soft Focus Glow Drops from Rodile. It's an illuminating glow primer. There we go. It smells like Easter candy. I don't know how else to describe it. It smells like, like sugary Easter candy. Cool, so now my face is kind of tacky. Um, I'm also gonna take my uh, Professional Pro Pore Primer. Um, this is a leftover one, so I got the top off. <laughs> because I need to use the rest of what's in this tube, so, duh. So this just blurs your pores, it, like fills them in and blurs them to make them look, like already my pores look smaller. You know what's funny? The word beauty blender has become like the word Kleenex. We use Kleenex to describe all tissues, even if it's not the brand Kleenex. Or like for us Wisconsin people, we call all water, like drinking fountains, bubblers because that was the brand name. So like this is not a beauty blender sponge. This is a real technique 
sponge sponge but I still call it a beauty blender I don't know that's interesting to me okay anyway foundation this is my Fenty Beauty uh, pro filter La, uh, soft matte longwear foundation which I love this is in the shade 185 I am not a full coverage foundation person so I like this one because it's more of a medium coverage um, I wouldn't say it's lightweight it's definitely medium because you can see it's covering pretty much everything but um, you can build it to be full coverage if you really want it to be or you can stay in the middle ground like me like everyone loves this foundation everyone raves about it but it just sits so nicely I don't know I don't think I'm ever gonna go back concealer I just reorganized all of my makeup so I don't have to like dig around in a little bag anymore but it's weird because I don't remember where things are <laughs> I have a lot of like tubes of leftover stuff that I'm trying to use. I like was really good and I sorted through my makeup and I have so much leftover crap that I need to use. So this is like a partially used tart shaped tape. This is in the shade light and I'm literally gonna scrape it out of the bottom. We are not wasting product here people, especially during quarantine. And I'm going back with my beauty blender and I am just gonna, I'm using kind of the opposite side of the sponge and I'm just gonna blend it out. Okay, now that we look thoroughly cakey, we're gonna set with some powders. This is the Cody Airspun powder. The one thing I don't like about this powder is that it kind of smells weird, but that's what everybody has said. Like for everyone I've like always followed, like from the longest time, they have always said that this powder smells weird. I'm not gonna set or like bake I'm not going anywhere if I was going out and like worried about being sweaty then I would but I'm gonna sit in my house and I'm literally like let's be real I'm doing my makeup to film other <laughs> things <laughs> these brushes are all from BH Cosmetics I got them for free and I love them the bristles are ridiculously soft and they are really really nice we're gonna do some brows so this is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. I'll at least do one for you. There was a time in my life when I didn't know how to f do my eyebrows, basically freshman year of college. And I have regrets about that every day. I would do full faces of makeup with no eyebrows. Like, look at the difference. Brow, no brow. I wanna do a red look with red eyeliner. <laughs> so this is the uh, Strawberry Shake Palette from ColourPop. <gasps> well, bam. Yeah, it's more pink than red. Like it's got some peachy, cause it's strawberry, I guess. Peachy tones. I use a lot of peach and orange colors for like everyday stuff. Orange is suddenly a neutral color, which I'm here for. Cause I love orange eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm gonna try something different this time. I'm gonna actually do this eye first, off camera. And then once I know what I'm doing, I'm gonna do this eye. It seems like the most logical thing to do and I don't know why I've never thought to do it. So the only downside to doing it this way is that I now look insane. I am taking um, this BH Cosmetics, Cosmetics brush. This is number nine in that set. It's not as fluffy, it's a little denser. So it's good for packing and I like it for dark colors. I'm gonna take daiquiri, which is this dark red, this middle dark red, and I am gonna pack that on my outer and inner corners. So now I'm gonna take an M433 from Morphe. I'm gonna take uh, my milkshake, which is this top bright pink color. I'm gonna buff around the edges uh, to blend that out. And this color ended up being a little more fuchsia. Like in the pan, it looks like it's gonna be more like true Barbie pink, and it's not. And now I am going to take, I couldn't even read it, Woke is this lighter pink in the corner and I'm gonna blend that out even further. And then I'm gonna go back with my BH Cosmetics Packer Brush and I'm gonna pack more daiquiri, dark red, um, 
just to make sure it's all blended together. Ah! I touched the wrong part of my face because I gotta fix that. So I tried to do this with a brush uh, earlier, which this is my M135 from Morphe. It's just a packer brush for the shimmer. Um, but this is whipped, so it's this middle top pink. So I'm just gonna put it, that was a hiccup and a burp. Multi-talented. I'm gonna pack this in the middle. I keep trying to do shimmers with brushes and they never work out. Like it just doesn't work. So now I'm gonna take my finger, but they say to not use your index finger since it's like the one that you use most often and it has like the most oils on it. So they always say if, when you pack something on to use um, either your middle finger or your ring finger. A tip from me to you. Okay, so now I'm going back with my M433 and I'm gonna take a little bit of my milkshake, again, this pink, just the tiniest bit. And I'm gonna blend the edges over that shimmer. These shadows, forewarning, have a lot of fallout, but that tends to happen with hyperpigmented colors like this. Now I'm gonna take my pinky and I'm actually gonna take um, Delish, which is the lightest shimmer in this palette. And I'm gonna put a little of that on top of Whipped. Okay, now I'm gonna take my little detailer brush from Morphe. This is an M413. I'm taking more Delish, so again, that lightest pigment in there. And I'm gonna go in my inner corner Brighten that up. Awesome, now I am taking my tiny little buffer brush. This is again from BH Cosmetics, this is number 11. And I'm gonna take my milkshake first, again this hot pink, and I am going to um, buff out my lower lash line. But I'm only gonna go outer corner and inner corner. Then I'm gonna take more daiquiri, the dark red and lay that just on top. First, I'm gonna crack my back. Then I'm taking, where are you? This teeny tiny little buffer brush. Uh, this is an M508 and I'm gonna take more whipped. So again, that darkest shimmer that we were using. And I'm gonna put that in the center of my lower lash line. Okay, then I'm gonna take my M433 with no product on it and I'm just gonna. Now! Time for eyeliner. So these are my new little doodads. The NYX Vivid Brights. This is in the color Fire, I think. Wait, Vivid Fire. And I thought this was gonna be red. And it's not, it's pink. <laughs> this is just like a typical liquid liner where it's got the like standard brush. So um, I'm gonna put this on like normal. Forgot how easy it is to use regular brush tip liners. I have a wing. Hoorah. I'm gonna take uh, the white liner. This is also from NYX. Uh, it's just a liquid liner. It's just white. So now I'm gonna draw a line on top of that pink liner. A five, six, seven, eight. Ba -na 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 -na. Uh, Take a charcoal pencil and I'm gonna tight line my lower lash line. This was all the rage in middle school. Does anybody else remember that? Like 2007? Tight lining was all the rage. And it was crucial to my outfit because my, you know, clogs and sweatpants and cami really needed the tight lining to bring it up. <laughs> Let's put some lashes on, shall we? House of Lashes with Sephora. These are the Natalia lashes. Did I put these on backwards? Is that why that one looks so weird? I'm an idiot. Put my lashes on backwards. Well, we're reapplying both lashes then, I guess. Okay, after correcting my grave error, we're fine. Okay, let's do the rest of our face. I am going to first bronze using my cheek parade palette, which I'm gonna take actual hula. I've been liking my face looking really tan lately. 
I don't know why. It looks like I have only one set of eyelashes on and that I'm wearing a mask and a viewfinder. Cool. We're gonna do some blush. I actually Rita's found um, this tiny milk blush that I had gotten in a birch box. I'm gonna use my butter blush. That's really hard to say. Butter blush. This blush is so freaking pigmented and it smells like summertime. And because I have a problem, I'm gonna make some fake freckles. This is my NYX um, Illuminator in the shade Ritualistic, but I'm gonna use my broken one. Cause again, we're all, look, look how broken this is. We're all about using up product, guys. And just cause it's broken, don't mean it don't work. Yep. This has been like one of my favorite highlighters for a very long time. <laughs> like, look at that. Okay. Excellent, great, thank you. Last step lips this is the melted matte um liquid lipstick from Too faced this is in the shade it's happening i clearly don't have enough pink on my face sometimes people are like you shouldn't put a bold lip with a bold eye well screw you i can do whatever i want We are done, my friends. We've come to this glowy pink. Um, feels very 80s to me. I'm not good at posing. This lip just makes me feel like I could take on the world. So guys, just to recap on the new products that I used, the Fourth Ray Radiate Oil. I really like, I'm gonna have to see how this continues to do for me over time. But so far I really liked it and it smelled really good. And I do actually think I look very luminous. That could just be my highlighter but I think I look good. And then this Rose Quartz Roller from Ulta. I, you know, like people rave about these things. I really like them. It was very soothing. Um, and it's definitely something that I've wanted to work into my makeup routine for a long time. So I'm really glad that I finally purchased one. This is just from the Ulta brand and it's, it's good. It was only like $18. So if you're looking for one and you wanna purchase one, this one, I really enjoy. And then we also played with these uh, liquid liners from NYX. I like NYX, a lot of people like NYX. They make uh, good quality stuff. Actually, both of these did really, really well. The pink and the white both had good color payoff and they were really easy to use and, and slick. As always, we love these strawberry shake palettes. This one, for whatever reason, just had more fallout. I really like ColourPop. I think they do a really good job with eyeshadow. So this, you know, is the end of the video. I feel fabulous. I feel like myself today, so I'm gonna call that a win. I'm gonna call that a win that I, you know, was able to smile. So <laughs> I had a friend say to me on the phone last night that he said he thinks it makes other people happy to hear me laugh and be happy. And um, that's cool, that's all I care about, right? I'm just trying to go about life as normally as I can. I'm just trying to, be happy <laughs> um, and find any excuse to be creative and experiment and so it warms my heart that people are enjoying this content creation that I'm putting out there now I've talked for too long thank you so much for playing along make sure you check back for new videos every Friday and uh, if you aren't already you should follow me on Instagram over at uh, Ashprodite Beauty that's it that's the thing just on Insta follow your girl stay safe be well Stay home, stay home. But otherwise, I will catch you on the flip side. I really am digging that catchphrase for myself. It's a good choice. Okay, bye guys.